Hey everybody, welcome back to another Strat Talk. Today we're going to be going over a Mirage B execute. Um, a B site on Mirage is a lot harder to take than any other site, at least when it comes to defaults and smokes, just because there's so many different angles where the players can be playing at. So it's hard to really clear all the angles with smokes, and even if you do smoke, they're able to play in that smoke, which makes it just a bit harder for the people coming through apps. You also have to worry about a cat guy, and uh, arches, and market, there's just so many places to look. Um, so on your basic CT setup, you're going to have one guy in the site region of B, either holding there, or there, or even here, um, sometimes bench, or sometimes aggressive up in apps, well up on van. Um, and even up in apps if it's more of like a force buy by then. Um, and then your second player is going to be playing cat. Either close arches, or if they hear something mid, they might be a little bit more towards mid, even in ladder, um, depending on how aggressive the player is. So what we're going to be doing is manipulating the cat rotate to make him look towards mid, so we can isolate the 1v1 on site. Um, and the one player has no support. So to do that, um, this strat requires five smokes. Um, they're not all at once, so a Molotov will not like slow the st uh, strat down, which it most more like utility in apps um, can really slow it. Rush down, you know. Uh, somebody calls rush B, they throw a Molotov. Three people go through, two are staying back, and it's just it's just not a good strategy. Um, with this, uh, the smokes have they last for 18 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or they last long enough that you can still wait through the smolly and it's perfectly okay. So the first smoke that you're going to want to throw, this is right at the start of the round. You're going to get up on the trash can and aim to the right of the antenna, and that's a top mid smoke. Um, and that's usually so a player can cross here without getting um, sniped by nest. Obviously connector can still see a little, um, but at the start of the round the connector player probably won't be in connector already. So this is just to um, confuse the nest player. You can even flash out a bit. Um, you would probably flash back here because we're not actually putting anybody in there. Um, you would flash there, and that would confuse the nest player into thinking that somebody might be behind boxes, and that makes the connector player and the cat player come towards mid. So after that smoke is down, you're going to want the person who threw that smoke and two other players. So we'll say player 1, 2, and 3 are all going to get into apps. Now, since this is a little late and the cat guy will be up on cat, you're going to want to walk when you walk through the doorway. Well, when you get through the doorway, that's when you want to start to walk so the cat player can't hear you. Um, usually on a contact, you'll walk at these stairs, but the cat player will be able to hear you. So through this doorway, you're going to walk, and then three players are just going to chill on apps, wait for a push, and wait for a push. So... Your player 4 and player 5. Uh, player 4 will be throwing a connector smoke. You get in this corner. There's a little um, orange flower. And you just jump throw. And then your player 5 is going to be throwing a top mid smoke. And get lined up on that. Crouch on that little circle. Walk forward a second. And then throw. So with these two smokes, obviously the connector smoke, if you're playing connector, um, you can still like see over it, but these aren't smokes to cover players, these smokes are just to make them lose control of mid. We're purposely allowing cat to not be smoked off, and this is so the cat player is more drawn towards mid because his teammates are smoked out and he is the last person that is eligible to stop a mid push. So he's probably going to be playing closer mid. He doesn't have to be all the way out here, but he's going to be drawn towards mid, at least. So once those smokes are down, you're going to wait about five seconds. And then your teammate, uh, your teammate two and three in apps, uh, you get lined up along here uh, to the left of this ledge, almost up to the wire. And you throw a smoke, that's right side arch. And then if you walk up against here, you get stopped. Go up, over to this dot, back over, jump throw, that's your left side arch. 
and this will smoke the cat player off. If you're playing cat, you won't be able to see anything. Yes, there's a little bit of a gap here because the right side arch smoke is a bit harder to throw now since there's no longer sky boxes uh, to bounce the smoke off of. But this will effectively smoke your cat, well, the cat player off. So when you're crossing, you only have to worry about one person's sight. And they won't be rotated because as a nest player, if you get smoked off, your first reaction isn't to go through vent and into B. Your first reaction is either to watch um, Palace or regress through connector or just wait the smoke out. They're not going to be rotating to market immediately just because it's a longer rotate than it is to A. So once you have isolated your first player, well, uh, the site player, you can just run out, that's no problem. A nice um, flash that you can throw is you get here, line it up against there, and it just goes out the window. Um, it's a bit hard to uh, get down, so I would suggest practicing before this, well, practicing this before you get into the uh, actual strategy in-game. Um, so practice that on your own time. But with these two smokes down, it should be an easy sight clear. Um, I'm not saying that everybody who rushes through sight is going to survive. Um, obviously, if somebody's playing there, he might or there, he might get one. But you want to have your teammates be able to effectively trade. Um, the point of an entry isn't to stay alive; it's to get info and do damage to the players. And the second entry is to trade out that kill and stay alive. So you're going to have three people running through apps and one person on site. Um, so you're just going to want to get the trade out. If he kills two of you and you, uh, you still get, you still kill him, so you have three players remaining, you guys can still get out and get bombed down because the cat player would have to push through smokes. Obviously, once the smokes dissipate, uh, you'll probably get fucked. But besides that, uh, it's a pretty good strat just to get bombed down if you um, have all your players remaining. So thank you for watching, and have a good day. Side note, I was just messing around with the art smokes, um, just because I didn't like the way that the right one was landing. So you still line up against here, but you aim a little bit lower, so right about there. It's You gotta get a feeling for it. There's nothing you really um, line up on, but it should bounce a couple times, and then, the, then it goes right through. Um, so that lands a lot better than something that would land right where that dot is. So just keep that in mind. Um, obviously, I found that smoke out myself. You can find other smokes. There's probably YouTube videos on those smokes. Um, but make sure it's the updated map because um, a previous smoke would be like... Well, it's one that you'll see a lot as you get there. Um, and you aim right about there -ish. But that no longer works because there's no skybox for it to bounce off of. Um, so again, thank you for watching and have a good day.